Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Many are familiar with John Alexander Dowie and his famous public discourse with Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, but many are not familiar with John Hugh Smith Pickett, here and referred to simply as Pickett. Pickett was the leader of a now defunct sect of Christianity known as the Agapemonites. In 1902, Pickett claimed to be Christ. Now, in the Christian paradigm, claiming to be Christ is roughly the same as claiming to be God. So, in essence, Pickett was claiming to be God. Now, this puts him at odds with Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, who also claimed to be Christ at the same time. So, in essence, the two are making rival claims, and they are, in fact, diametrically opposed to one another. So, what did Mirza Ghulam Ahmed do? He issued one of his famous death prophecies in a leaflet distributed titled A Warning to a Pretender of Divinity, which was reprinted in the Ahmadiyya Gazette from Canada in the April 2010 edition. The relevant portion reads as follows, quote, Thousands of heavenly signs which have been witnessed have worked a pure transformation in their lives. The death of Mr. Piggott within my lifetime shall be another sign of my truth. If I die before Mr. Piggott, I am not the true Messiah, nor am I from God. But if Almighty God makes me a witness of Mr. Piggott's death, which shall be brought about by the efficacy of my prayer, let the whole world bear witness that I am the true Messiah and that I have come from God. End quote. So what you can see here is that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is making a clear-cut death prophecy against Piggott. He is saying that if Piggott dies first, then he is the true Messiah. And if Piggott dies afterwards, then he is a false Messiah and not from God. What's interesting is that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed made yet another prophecy about Piggott. In the 2004 edition of the translation of Tadkira on page 254 and 255, it reads as following. Quote, the promised Messiah prayed that Piggott, a priest of London, who claimed to be God, and saw a dream, some books on which were written three times, holy, 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 and then received the revelation in Arabic, quote, Allah is severe in retribution. They are not acting righteously. On the next page it reads, the promised Messiah explained this as meaning that Piggott was in a bad way and would not repent and would not believe in God, end quote. So what you can see here is that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is making yet another prophecy that Piggott would not repent from his belief and would not believe in God. So what actually happened? Mirza Ghulam Ahmed died in the year 1908, whereas John Hugh Smith Piggott died in the year 1927, nearly a full two decades after the death of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. So what is this? This is none other than a failed prophecy. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed said that if he died first, that he himself died first, that he was not from God. But if Piggott died within his lifetime, then let the whole world know that he is the true Messiah. But instead, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed died first. Defenders of Ahmadiyyat give two possible explanations for why this prophecy failed. The first was written in the April 2010 edition of the Ahmadiyya Gazette, which reads as follows, quote, Reverend Smith Piggott totally retracted public claims and retreated. It is perhaps for this reason that he did not die in the lifetime of the promised Messiah. Indeed, he lived on and died in 1927. End quote. However, this is factually incorrect. Smith Piggott was defrocked from the Church of England in the year 1909 for immoral behavior. When he was defrocked, he said, quote, I am God, it does not matter what they do. End quote. Does this sound like the language of somebody who has publicly retracted his claims or retreated from his earlier positions? Additionally, he continued to claim to be God, and in fact, his sect of the Agapemonites lasted well after his death and only ended in the year 1956 with the death of the last member. Additionally, this explanation goes against Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's prophecy, where he said that Piggott would not repent and would not believe in God. Thus, he could not possibly have retracted his claims. And it also eliminates the possibility of any type of secret repentance. Ahmadi defenders have yet another defense, and that was that Piggott was humiliated in his own lifetime. Indeed, he died penniless, very few people believed in his sect, and in fact, the last member died in the year 1956, thus ridding the Agapemonites off of the face of the earth. However, the question is, who cares? This is an irrelevant detail. The prophecy was about who would die first, specifically that if Mirza Ghulam Ahmed died first, then he himself said he is not the Messiah and not from God. And indeed, that is exactly what happened. The prophecy had nothing to do with humiliation in their own lifetime. With this, I want to restate Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's prophecy, where he said, quote, If I die before Mr. Pickett, I am not the true Messiah, nor am I from God. 
With this, I want to close and call all Ahmadis to leave the false religion of Ahmadiyya. Indeed, the religion of Islam, the same Islam that has remained consistent for 1,431 years, is the true Islam. Religions that were invented only 100 years ago in rural India are in fact not the true Islam and are in fact following a false prophet. So Mirza Ghulam Ahmed himself, as he claimed, is a false prophet. And we want to call all of our Ahmadi friends to leave the false religion of Ahmadiyya and to embrace Islam. And with that, wa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam, Allahu subhanahu wa ta'ala wa huwa hasbuna wa ni'mal wakil.